On April 30, 1538, during the era of Spanish conquistadors, a man named Blas de Castillo traveled with a group of workers to the Masaya volcano in what is now Nicaragua due to rumors that its lava lake contained molten gold. Over the span of several months, they extracted molten material from its active lava lake, thinking that they were rich. However, they were disappointed when no gold or silver was found upon analyzing the samples they obtained. Although this story is an amusing anecdote, there is in fact a volcano that erupts molten gold, which is erupting right now. This gold does not flow out of the volcano in question as tons of material each day, but rather through releasing millions of tiny solid gold crystals into the air. The volcano which produces this gold is known as Mount Erebus, which emits approximately 80 grams of gold each day. Mount Erebus is located far south of New Zealand in Antarctica, where it is centered 37 kilometers north of McMurdo Station. This volcano is unusual for a number of reasons. Not only is it the tallest active volcano in Antarctica, but it is one of the coldest. Yet, at its summit is an active lava lake, of which only seven other volcanoes out of more than 1,300 contain. Erebus is the tallest volcano to contain an active lava lake, and the rapid cooling due to the frigid temperatures might explain why it is the only volcano known to emit solidified gold particles. Gold is relatively common in deep magma chambers, where it occurs in the range of typically less than one part per million in the molten material. Some of this gold is then concentrated and brought to the surface through heated water, where it is emplaced at depth in the conduit the water takes right above where the water boils. Thus, many gold deposits form beneath ancient active volcanoes on what used to be a series of hot springs. Gold can also be precipitated around volcanic fumaroles or even around the active volcanic crater of an erupting volcano. For example, the Galeras volcano in Colombia produces 56 grams of gold each day, which is placed around its highly active vent. The deposition of gold at Mount Erebus is relatively similar, except in the case of this volcano, microscopic particles of gold crystallize on the cooler crust of its lava lake. For a period of several minutes to hours, additional gold particles grew around a piece of material. Then, volcanic gas lofts particles of the recently deposited gold into the air, where it falls within a 2 meter radius of a lava lake. These particles are quite small, ranging from 0.1 to 80 micrometers, where a micrometer is one millionth of a meter. Other elements are also placed around the crater walls, including zinc and copper, which solidifies the respective minerals sphalerite and chalcopyrite. A second reason why the emplacement of solid gold does not occur at other volcanoes relates to the eruptive style at Mount Erebus. Its eruptions typically consist of a persistent lava lake which refills and drains over time, but also on occasion produces volcanic explosions and either strombolian or phreatomagmatic eruptions. During the peaceful portion of the eruption, when a simple lava lake is present, very little gas is emitted which allows for the crystals to grow. At other volcanoes which frequently contain lava leaks such as Kilauea in Hawaii or Ambrim in Vanuatu, higher amounts of gas are emitted which do not allow time for crystals of gold to grow. You might wonder if the 80 grams of gold produced a day could be commercially mined as at current prices that would be worth 5,421 US dollars each day. The quick answer is no, as not only would it be too dangerous to mine due to the threat of random volcanic explosions, but would not be cost effective given the extreme remoteness of Mount Erebus. Regardless, this scenic volcano produces 29.2 kilograms or 64.4 pounds of gold each year, which is worth a total of about 2 million US dollars. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Mark Williams for supporting this channel.